Hi everybody. Today I'd like to do a demonstration that has to do with centripetal force. You've probably done this when you're at the beach and you filled up a pail of water and you swung the water around your head like that and the water didn't come out. I want to show you that today. I have a beaker of water that I put a drop of blue food coloring in so you could see it. I also have a little platform over here. There's just a rubber sheet inside there so that the, the cup doesn't slide around inadvertently. But fundamentally, what happens is you just put this uh, beaker uh, on, the, on the, uh, the tray and uh, what you'll find out is that if you swing the beaker around like this, now I want you to look at that closely. The water in there looks like it has just turned to jello. No ripples, nothing. But I assure you that it is still water. Why did that happen? It all has to do with centripetal force and Newton's third law. So let's just see if I can do this without breaking anything or, uh, or damaging any of the equipment in the room. All right, so I'm gonna start it off slowly over here, like this. And you can see that the water is pretty much level, just the way it was when I showed it to you in the close-up. Now if I get it going like this, you can see that the water is not gonna spill out of the beaker. Bring that down again, and we still have water in there. Now, why did that happen? Why did it work that way? Let's take a look. We know that in order to have something moving in a circle, we have to have a net force that points towards the center of the circle. That net force comes from any unbalanced force and we call that particular net force the centripetal force. So if this is the dish on which the beaker is sitting, and here's the beaker, the net force is a centripetal force that is going into the center of the circle. Now, if we put ourselves in the reference frame of the beaker, the beaker feels the platform here, the dish, pushing up on it, just like we feel the floor pushing up on us, or conversely, us pushing down on the floor. That's Newton's third law, equal and opposite forces. The net force is the centripetal force, the force that the beaker experiences within the reference frame of the beaker is called the centrifugal force. The beaker perceives a force that is causing it to be pushed into that supporting plate. That is the same force that you experience when you're at the carnival and you go on the Gravitron. The Gravitron spins you around in the outside of a cylinder. You're on the inside of a, a, a cylinder. The force that you experience pushes you to the wall of that cylinder and causes you to stick to that wall of the cylinder. You are experiencing a quasi-gravitational force that is holding you in place. That's how space stations work if we had a space station with a rotating platform in it. More on this later. 